Good morning and welcome to the morning prayer for June 12th, Monday, in the 10th week of Ordinary Time. Thank you so much for joining me in prayer today in this divine office, in the liturgy of the hours, a Catholic tradition that spans centuries. Let us ask our Lord for his forgiveness and for the opportunity of going to confession if we have to. Let us ask for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Let us ask for his kingdom to come, for him to protect our children, our families, our country, our values, because all of them, all of us are under attack, and that's not hard to notice. If you have a window, you can notice it. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O lavish giver of the light that bathes the world in dawning glow, the daylight cheers our hearts again when somber hours of night have passed. You are the world's true morning star, compared with whom the eager gleam that heralds in the dawning light is but a timid, narrow ray. Through light itself, eternal day, you are far brighter than the sun, illuminating with your grace the deep recesses of each heart, and may our purity of mind suppress what lower nature claims, so that our bodies too may be the Holy Spirit's spotless shrine. Jesus, to you beneath whose sway all earth shall bow, all praise we pray, with Father and with Spirit be. All glory yours eternally. Amen. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Like the deer, je like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things I, these things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I will lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hoping God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Misar. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness, by night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So now that the surging waves of your indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always, like the deer for running streams, until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus, they will know as we know that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. 
show forth the, the splendor of your right hand and arm gather all the tribes of Jacob that they may inherit the land of, as of old show mercy to the people called by your name Israel whom you named your firstborn take pity on your holy city Jerusalem your dwelling place fill Zion with your majesty your temple with your glory glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever Amen Lord show us the radiance of your mercy the walls of heaven ra ring with your praise O Lord the heavens proclaim the glory of God and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands day unto day takes up the story and night unto night makes known the message no speech no word no voice is heard yet their span extends through all the earth their words to the utmost bounds of the world there he has placed a tent for the sun it comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent rejoices like a champion to run its course at the end of the sky is the rising of the sun to the furthest end of the sky is its course there is nothing concealed from its burning heat glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen to enlighten the world father you sent to us your word as the son of truth and justice shining upon mankind illumine our eyes that we may discern your glory in the many works of your hand the vaults of heaven ring with your praise O lord when i found your words i devoured them they became my joy and the happiness of my heart because i bore your name O lord god of hosts Sing for joy, God's chosen ones, give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones, give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord, give him the praise that is due. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones, give him the praise that is due. Blessed be the Lord. For he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised the all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for He has come to His people and set them free. Our Savior has made us a nation of priests to offer acceptable sacrifice to the Father. Let us call upon Him in gratitude. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Christ, eternal priest, you conferred the holy priesthood on your people. Grant that we may offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Father. Prese preserve us in your ministry, Lord. In your goodness, pour out on us the fruits of your Spirit, patience, kindness, and gentleness. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we love you and possess you, for you are love. And may every action of our lives praise you, preserve us in your ministry, Lord. 
May we seek those things which are beneficial to our brothers without counting the cost, to help them on the way to salvation. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Father, you have brought us to the light of a new day. Keep us safe the whole day through from every sinful inclination. May all our thoughts, words, and actions aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you again for praying with me this morning. This is a beautiful way to start a day. If you want, you can join us tonight in the night prayer. And if you want to help us, you can like and share our videos. And you are invited to pray with us every single day. So if you want to be notified about um, every video, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you all. Have a nice day.